Why doesn't SpongeBob look like he used to? The cartoon debuted on July 17, 1999, with a style of animation that had never been seen before. The show gave us a warm, bubbly feeling. The art style was obviously very different back in the day. The cartoon had multiple seasons, and it seemed like with each new break was a new rendition of the lovable Sponge. A plethora of noticeable changes that accompanied new features that fans weren't too happy about. However, to understand the perspective of how Spongebob is even made, we have to travel back to the roots of where the show is actually animated. Spongebob, like many other cartoons, is outsourced to another country. Overseas, there are many employees animating the show to get it done right. Spongebob is actually one of the most difficult shows to animate because of a number of reasons. The show is hand-drawn. This is the most time-consuming and difficult form of 2D animation. For those unfamiliar with this concept, just to get one measly second of animation, you need multiple pictures drawn in. Yes, frame by frame, one at a time. This is why the budget of this show easily ran up to millions of dollars. And it doesn't help that SpongeBob's earlier design had multiple holes and strange shapes. A very complex geometry, we have to be honest here. And don't forget, the animators were also utilizing cell animation. Nickelodeon obviously wanted to cut costs somewhere down the line. But what did the creator Stefan Hillenberg think? When we venture back to what Spongebob actually looked like in his earliest forms, we can see an unrecognizable blob. The original creator actually visioned Spongebob to look like this. He expanded more and more on his work, and with new evolution, Spongeboy transformed more and more, until we saw that first debut. But this doesn't answer the question as to why he changed so drastically over the years. In season one, we saw a rectangular shape with holes and random edges. Fast forward to season two, and we leave the cell animation in the past and transition to the digital form of media. Bigger eyes, darker eyelashes, and a more cohesive shape. What they were able to do with SpongeBob multiplied immensely due to the smart creative decision to change him while not sacrificing quality, but rather enhancing it. The SpongeBob movie was one of the creator's finest works. You could tell he put an intense amount of work into his passion. Not too bright, and even resembled season one, if we're being honest, giving us that warm feeling we so often miss in the later seasons. Unfortunately, Stefan left his own show after the movie because he only wanted the cartoon to run for a certain period of time. This, in turn, may have not sat well with Nickelodeon, seeing as SpongeBob was bringing in unbelievable levels of revenue. As the seasons went on, we saw changes that for the first time, the quality did sacrifice to some degree after the creator left. We saw a more saturated main character. The yellow was bright and could only be chalked up to a possible gimmick to bring in more younger audiences. At the end of the day, cartoons are a business run by corporations. In fast food, the elites know that the color red can increase our heart rates which could be the reasons why analytics and media reports have said it jumpstarts our appetite to get more sales. Color is extremely important on an unconscious level. Even the size of SpongeBob's pants got smaller. You may think that they just wanted to advance with the current era, which is fair enough, but I riddle you this. Do you think that the latest SpongeBob animation is better than the older seasons? The answer is no. As time goes on, animation in theory should be getting better. But when you're trying to take shortcuts, it shows. Take a look at SpongeBob's older movements. So fluid and lively. The hand-drawn animation was so full of joy. You could see each movement. But fast forward to season 13 and look at this. His hands are completely static. Even though the show is still hand-drawn, they are using methods that are mainly seen in flash animations where characters are rigged to save cost. But SpongeBob is originally hand-drawn, so it looks strange. This is no fault of the hard-working animators overseas, because they will forever be timeless and they've proven themselves by making a show for us in the past. Animators usually get paid low wages. Never blame the animator. Instead, we should look at the corporation and or the creators. What people fail to realize is that by choosing the cheaper route, we in turn get a product that doesn't evoke the same emotion we once felt years ago. This same mistake has been done in anime. Dragon Ball Z dated all the way back in 1989 with unbelievable animation. The art style and fluidity, incredibly impressive and fast paced. However, decades later with a new series, check this out. Saturation, tons of bright colors and shading. There is a lack of weight in the punches and kicks. It's so bad it actually takes the viewer out of the experience. At the end of the day, Whenever you watch an animation, you need to realize you're essentially looking at an illusion. 
a series of images thrown at you at once. But it seems in the modern era, we see one image dragged for a few seconds to cut cost. Again, no shade towards hardworking animators, because I thoroughly believe that animators are the hardest workers on this planet, and we try to make a living by following instructions of our higher-ups. Failure to listen to your boss's instructions because of your own creative differences is taboo. Even if you were an animator or designer who really wanted to make some great changes for whatever you're working on, you risk a lot just for a cartoon that isn't even yours to begin with, so why not just go with the flow and get paid? Spongebob is still a monster of a cartoon anyways, and it seems it's not just TV shows that cut cost. The Pokemon games have seemed to follow the same route, it seems, with their new releases to the public. Even with Spongebob's current level of success, what did they lose in the process to achieve it? The art style changes in Spongebob are so popularized that even fans of this show have made their own versions of it, going back and forth from old to new. This has become a hobby for many, but the undertones tell a darker story. What would prompt a fan to do this? The sudden shift from cell animation to digital was not a horrible decision. However, changing the main character almost every season should leave us questioning what the motive is. Change isn't just something random, there has to be a reason behind it. In the end, Nickelodeon seems oblivious that the show's style has changed so drastically. Whenever a cartoon goes on forever and ever, you have to question things. With the unfortunate passing of the creator, the show now seems to have no direction. Swung which in every way by the waves. One director today, another tomorrow. Another designer today, the next one tomorrow. It's no question as to why Spongebob design has changed. But what are your thoughts on this? Any adult watching this show would immediately recognize that the nostalgia is completely gone from the later seasons. Half the time, it doesn't even feel like you're watching Spongebob anymore. The only way to salvage this and make amends is to actually end the cartoon. 13 seasons is a lot. Now I'm not saying that Spongebob needs to end, but when we look back to what the creator actually wanted, if he said the show should have ended after season 3, who am I to question that? It's not my show, it's his. Things have even gotten so saturated, not in terms of color, but in terms of script, that they reused what has been written before. Some episodes are duplicated, essentially. This is unheard of, and seems to happen in shows that run for a long period of time. SpongeBob's design has changed so much that it even switched completely to 3D in Camp Coral, which is an extremely forgettable show that no one remembers, or even acknowledges due to the fact that it was made for one sole purpose, and I won't list what that reason is, you can figure that out for yourself. But even the series Camp Coral breaks away from what SpongeBob is all about. 